let's not beat about the bush. COVID-19's economic impact will be dramatically worse than either the financial crisis of 2008 or the Wall Street crash in 1929. It's not looking great, is it? Hi, I'm Misha Glenny, and I've been writing about where geopolitics and crime intersect for about two decades now. So I'm not going to sugar the pill. There are really tough times ahead. It all looked so different 30 years ago. The Berlin Wall came tumbling down and the Cold War was over. Liberal democracy and free trade were sweeping all before it. We thought we were entering a new golden age. Instead, just three decades later... <coughs> the four horsemen of the modern apocalypse stand at our gates. We've already experienced the pandemic, but there's also the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. Then there is the climate emergency. And finally, our over-dependence on ever more complex networked computer systems. But our real problem is that all this is going on at a time of deep geopolitical instability. The two biggest economies in the world, economies which are for the moment entirely mutually dependent on each other, are now on a collision course. And this has implications for financial stability, for growth, for supply chains. But above all else, this is a war about technology. And believe me, the gloves are off. SolarWinds is making everyone sit up. The sheer scale and complexity of SolarWinds software generates huge savings and efficiencies for companies and institutions. But in the era of the Internet of Things and cloud computing, when something goes wrong, the scale of the damage is concomitantly massive. Not only has the suspected Russian attack ripped through some of the most sensitive government departments, this latest hack confirms a rather extraordinary paradox. Until now, the greatest vulnerability to our cybersecurity has been human error and gullibility. This first major breach in the new era makes it clear how the vulnerability is no longer humans, but systems so big that humans no longer exercise the requisite oversight. Just as COVID-19 is not going to be the last pandemic, so the solar winds hack is not the end, but a harbinger of new security problems. The good news is that everyone can inoculate themselves against most cyber threats. We have many of the answers. If you want to learn more, just let me know. In the meanwhile, Brace yourself for another rocky year as the Chinese, the Americans, the Russians and the Europeans face off.